Right, so for the people that are in the discussion, welcome. Thank you very much for spending the time to join us today. Uh, this is Idle Homes, my name is Ben Salfali. I am a representative for Idle Homes over in the Costa Blanca region of Spain. And I'll be here obviously to answer any questions that you might have and to obviously conduct a virtual tour on your behalf, given the condition of where we are at the moment. It's the most logical way for us to present Spain to you. So I just wanted to let you know that uh, this is gonna go onto our social media forums. So if you do not wish to appear on them, please keep your camera off and also keep your microphones on mute as this will help with any overlaying of questions and people talking. That would be fantastic. I would like to firstly introduce Anna again, who will kind Hello. of take two of the properties from last week. She will be giving you guys a virtual tour on the property as we discussed in Torimar. So that way you can see in firsthand exactly what the properties are like, the build condition, the communal areas, and also the local beach. So hopefully it will answer most of your questions and help guide you further from there. And if you do need further information, please feel free to contact us, uh, obviously by email or phone, and we'll be more than happy to assist. So, Anna, I will hand it over to you. Hello, I'm here, it's Anna. We are in the new development Torremar in La Mata, that is in the north of Torrevieja, just one kilometer far to the north of Torrevieja in a residential area. Okay. Um, what, I'm going to show, what we are going to show you now is to show how the communal areas and the environment. Okay. We are going to do an explanation of what the developments contains and what are all around and all the services and amenities that you can find if you live here in Torremar. I'm here with my colleague Dara. Uh, she's going to help me to do this presentation of this development. We are going to start first by the premium shoe house. That is um, not one typical apartment. All of them are two bedroom, two bathrooms, as I was explaining last week. This one is with an American kitchen, open, uh, open living room and kitchen, and there is two bedrooms, two bathrooms with a nice terrace and beautiful views to the communal areas. I know we are going to show you first the terrace. As you can see, there is a big terrace, 18 meters square, with views to the communal areas and swimming pool. You have the parking space as well that they are included on the price. These apartments, all of them are two bedrooms, two bathrooms, and the starting price are 107,000 euros. We're going down to the living room. This is the living room, a modern living room with open space, new kitchen, all new furniture, all the wages are all new as well. And Included the kitchen way use are included on the price. Oven, hot oven, uh, uh, boiler, boiler, all included on the price and all totally new. As you can see, as more well, as explaining last 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 Saturday, this development was done in was finished in two thousand eight, but it has been uh, closed for almost ten years. But now it has been all renewed. Then, as Ben explained in last Saturday, here in the coastline, now we are uh, just 600 meters from the beach. It's very difficult to try to find two bedrooms, one bathroom, uh, two bedroom, two bathrooms apartment, because the most part of them are two bedroom, one bathroom. These developments, all the apartments are two bedroom, two bathrooms with the terrace. You have this one that is with um, west orientation, then you will have after three, you will have the sun during all the afternoon. And later, we will go to the other show house that is with east orientation that will have sun in the morning and with some um, sea views. And here, as you can appreciate it, you have the living room with the terrace. Then you will have a suite room. More room and the big windows going to the terrace as well. And then you can continue like here. We'll go into the bathroom. Let's continue this tour. We'll go through the apartment and then we will go to the second bathroom. 
Anybody? And then to a second room. Okay, you have to best then. This apartment is perfectly for a holidays, uh, as a holidays investment, because here you can live, a, a family of four members can live perfectly here. You have the terrace, you have the communal area with the swimming pool. You will have the bus stop, all cities and amenities also in front. As you can appreciate this, uh, even if the style of the building, as I will show you later, is traditional one, inside is all new. It's all renewing, it's having all painting, the floor has been changing, all the white, the white boxes are new, the, the locks are new, everything is new inside the apartment. Then it is a very good investment and very good options because for a holiday investment because you can find a very good price. He had been asking later, uh, before about the price of the meter square here. And you have to think about it that you are in a very famous area that could be in Torre Vieja, but in the north, that is La Mata, in urbanization. And here the price, the meter square price of this apartment is 1,800 by meter square. Then it's quite good. And uh, we all think that it's a very good investment. Here, uh, this residential I will show you later, but it's composed of eight buildings. All the eight buildings that there are 80 apartments per building has been also. This is the last one. And um, it's selling very, very fast. Just for, also for, for holidays, as holiday, but also for location. This is a very good opportunity. Let's go now to the other model of apartment. This one is, as I told you before, with the one with American kitchen, open living room. Now we are going to go to one with a closed living room. This building has five floors, okay? Now we are in a second floor and we are going to the first floor. We have three elevators as well, all working. Now, fifty percent of the people living now here in Torrema, the most part of them are British, Scandinavian, and Belgian. This is the other model of apartment. You can see, as you can appreciate it, it's a closed kitchen. Okay, the same that before the half the home and and the boiler will be of use. This is totally a different style, and depending on what you like more, you can choose one model or the other. Uh, it's exactly the same. The only difference is the kitchen and the open kitchen living room, but it's the same meter square as the other one. Just me, this 16 meter square apartment and 15 meter square terrace. Let's see first the terrace because we are going to go to the opposite orientation of what we were before. There, as I told you last time on Saturday, here we have the big shopping center. Okay, you can see the uh, blue line of the cedar. You have obviously the Mercadona shopping center, the Bank Sabadell. Uh, restaurants, bar. There is a big shopping, shopping center where you can find all services and amenities. Just in the back of the shopping center, you will find a school, big school. That means that here in this area, you have light to live all year. It's not, so, it's, not, it's not an area where you like people just in the summer season. No, here you have light all year. Then, for this is a very good opportunity for rentals because you can rent for short season, but you can rent as well for a long time. Then in this direction, you will have the beach where we are going to go later. Okay, just 600 meters square. I want to show you here, just that way as well, please. And this is the bus stop that will go directly to the city center of Torre Vieja, that is just straight down that way, one kilometer and a half. And then that way, you go to the beach of La Mata and to the other beach of Torre Vieja all around. You have the bus stop here, that you have a bus that it comes every 20 minutes. And they go to the city center of Torre Vieja and all the beaches of the coastline. Let's go inside the farm. You can appreciate that it's an apartment. Uh, the distribution of the apartment is exactly the same as uh, this one. 
You will have here the main room, the new bedroom. With the bathroom suite as well. Second bathroom, the wardrobe, big wardrobes, everyone, and the second bedroom, and the wardrobe. This is the two models of apartments we have in this, in this building. All of the rest are all exactly the same. You can choose, there are all two bedrooms, two bathrooms, as I said before, 60 meters square, 15 meters square terrace. The only thing that he changes is the composition of the distribution of the kitchen. You can choose by the American kitchen and living room, open one, or you can choose by this one that is closed. The rest is exactly the same. And the, all, all the difference as well is the orientation. You have the building, they have Half of the apartments there are east orientation with sea views and looking to the street with the shopping center. Other one more private, west orientation, sun in the afternoon and looking to the communal areas and the swimming pools. All the apartments have a parking space included on the flats. And this is very important to see. Let's go now to see the communal areas and the swimming pool. Vale. No. Luis, me tienes que abrir. I'm going to show you now the main entrance of the, of the building. This is the main entrance. It's well protected because you have one entrance with a covered terrace, as you can appreciate it. That go to the street. You can have easy parking space just in front of the apartments, but of course they are going to be more private if you park your car inside the residential. Then, as you can see, you have here a cover terrace with the main entrance, and then you will go to the other main door. To enter to the building. This building is the remark post. As I told you before, they are Eight buildings that compose all these residential. The community fees here to maintain all this, you know, the cleaning and the maintenance of the communal areas that you're going to see now, as they is split by 80 apartments, they are quite low. They are around 35 euros per month. And then the um, Okay, easy. Uh, tax. And then the tax, the property tax, 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 are around 270 euros per year. Then you will have around 800 euros per year to spend in community fees and in property tax. Now, just going back parking. to the residential, here you have the parking space with the entrance for the parking space and the garage. You can have a garage as well. That is not included on the price. The parking space, yes, is included on the price. And then we will go directly to this communal area and see you here. This is probably, taking in account the location here in Torremar that you have everything just uh, very, very close and it's very comfortable. These communal areas are well maintained in all year, and you can see they have the olive oil, palm trees, the swimming pool that is all well cleaning and well in well condition during all years, and they are very, very wide. These are very beautiful uh, green space here in Torremar, at just 600 meters from the beach, in front of the shopping center, and just one kilometer far from Mercadona. Here you can appreciate the full residential. Okay, this building is where we were before. This is Torremar 4. 
okay? This is what we are selling now, and we are focusing on the sale of this one because all the rest has been already sold. We go to Torremar 6, Torremar 5. All this residential is composed by this building that is also, then here you have life all year, and this one will sit right. You have all the same and amenities in, in front. It's good for a family, also for a couple, and for rentals, as lo uh, for location, and for holiday season, as well as a good option. Well, uh, Ben, I don't know if you have some questions uh, that you want to tell me about, or if I want to show you, I show you something more about this residential before going to the beach, or do you prefer that I do something more? Yes, I do have a question for you just before you, you go down to the beach. Now, the yes. energy provided for the, for the apartment, is it gas, electric, is it solar panels? How, how, can you explain a little bit more about the utility? It's electricity. The yeah. boiler. The only thing that you have is the boiler that is yeah. by electricity as well. It's the electric one and the hub is electric as well. Fantastic. Um, no, I think that's, that's all the information that we need for now. Um, are there any one bedroom units available or are they all No, two all of them units? that we have available now, before yes, you know, because they were a big, big complex that we have been selling here for years. Um, but now what is available is two beds and two bathrooms. Great, great. And but just, well, we are selling more, you know, because two beds and two bathrooms for location is good. I just have seen, and then you have a 60 meters square apartment. The, the bedrooms are quite, you have, quite, quite big and you have the terrace as well then. And here, well, in, in this area, the main, part, the main part of the time, you're made in the living room or in the terrace or outside in the street. Great, great. And there is a limited number of units available, but we still have obviously quite a good uh, selection of units available. Good yeah, well, here we have a starting uh, at the beginning of, no, the beginning of um, April last year. There was there were 80 units available. At this moment, we have just 12. Then it's almost full. We hope to sell it very very fast. From here to October, this will be all over. Brilliant, brilliant. Taking no, it to under yeah. coronavirus. If not, it will be. It will be of course, fast. of course. <laughs> no, I think that's all the uh, all the questions we have so far. Um, but what I'll do is I'll let you go down to the beach so we can show, show the closest beach to the, to the, to the apartments and uh, we'll meet you back in a couple of minutes. Okay, see you now. Thank you, bye-bye. Thank you, bye-bye. So one of the questions that we had initially when we sort of sent out the, uh, the, the information on this webinar was how is the buying process conducted for, for the, a style of apartment like this? Although we have covered it on a, another video, I thought I'll just quickly go over just so that you have an idea as to how, how the acquisition of a property like this takes place. So the first thing you will do is pay a reservation fee. What that reservation fee will do is simply take the unit off the market, reserve the price, and obviously start the due diligence with the lawyers to make sure everything is in place and all the correct paperwork is, is, is in place, et cetera. From there, you will then negotiate, and I'll get back onto this in a little while, you will then negotiate the payment terms. Now, what would normally happen is you would pay a 30% deposit or you can do it in stages as well. I do believe that they are willing to accept stages, so it is negotiable. And it would, again, depend if you do need a mortgage or if it's simply just going to be liquidity that you'll be using. So if you are going to need a mortgage, obviously you would need to set the mortgage up, um, but you would have to pay, obviously, your deposit in between time, which will be up to the region of about 40% of the property value so that you can acquire a 60% mortgage. From there, once you have the mortgage, then obviously you get the, the lawyers will do their due diligence, again, continuing all the paperwork. And if you are in the country, you're more than welcome to attend the signing of the deed, or you can sign it over for a power of attorney to the solicitor and they will conduct the signing on your behalf so that that way you don't have to do anything at all. So the property itself, in terms of acquiring a property, is very, very easy to do and uh, very straightforward. But they are willing, because of the current circumstance we're in at the moment, they are willing to take reservations with, which are refundable. So if, for instance, you decided to look at this unit, pay a reservation so you don't miss out on the opportunity, and you have then, once the, the restrictions have been lifted, you have 30 days to travel here to actually look at the properties in person and decide whether or not it's for you. If it is for you, then you're more than welcome to continue on the purchase. If it's not for you, then you can simply claim your refund 
So you don't actually, you, know, you won't be out of pocket, you're not going to lose out on anything at all. And that's a fantastic uh, thing to do because what it will enable you to do is go for something, which is obviously, as you've heard, selling, selling very well, it's in a fantastic location. One of the best beaches in the area, the Mata Beach is, is just minutes walk away. Fantastic rental income can be had here. Um, but not only that, it would make a very, very good holiday home. You wouldn't necessarily need a car to get you know, to all your amenities. Um, and it's, it's easily, uh, trans in terms of uh, getting here, it's easily, uh, sort of in terms of um, uh, airports, it's uh, Alicante Airport you would use to get here. I can actually get my teeth in. So in terms of getting here, it's very, very simple. So Alicante Airport takes roughly to La Mata, I would say no more than half an hour, 35 minutes, depending on time of year and you know, traffic. But uh, yeah, so it's, it's a great opportunity. So if you decided to go down that road, you can pay a deposit, a small deposit to secure your unit. And then as I said, once the restrictions have been lifted, you then have 30 days from that point to travel, to look at the property in person and see if it's right for, for you. If it's not right, as I said, you can simply claim your money back. The process is very, very straightforward. We can recommend a solicitor on your behalf that we think would be a, uh, a good solicitor to use, but you're more than welcome to source your own and they will guide you through the buying process from A to Z. Also, if you decide to rent the property out, we can also put you in contact with a rental management company who will not only market the property for you, but they will take care of all the maintenance, the cleaning, uh, the checking of the property, etc. And therefore the property can start to maybe even generate an income for you whilst you're not using it. And even if it covers the community costs, the community fees, even if it covers the, the legal costs and in terms of acquiring the property over a number of years, whatever it may be, at least it's kind of washing its own face rather than sitting there dormant and, and not being used. And parking is included. Um, obviously that was mentioned to you just, just moments ago. And it is walking distance to the nearest beach. So really everything is uh, tick, tick, tick. And it's, uh, I would say it's a very good opportunity. Uh, with regards to how much rental income can be had, uh, I would say, depending on how things pan out and during the summer, I would say the 16 to 22 weeks during the summer will give you rental income, which will take care of your community fees, your, your, your council tax, the equivalent of council tax over here. Um, that will take care of all your fees for the year. Um, it's very hard to give you an exact figure, but during the high season, you can get anywhere from five to 600 euros a week. It just depends again as to how well it's being marketed and also um, yeah, what competition you're, you're facing uh, locally. So we can put you in contact with a rental management team. You can kind of give you a bit more scope on that. But what we don't want to say is, oh, you know, you'll be able to achieve 7%, 10% yield per annum because it will fluctuate and it just depends on, on how well the property is marketed and, and who's actually doing the marketing and what services you can provide. If you can do things like airport pickups, collecting clients from the airports and taking them down to the property, that's great because what ultimately will happen is that you'll get repeat business because of the service. So the longer you're in the rental manage, the sort of the rental game, um, the, the better it's managed and marketed, the, the more rentals you will incur year in, year out. Um, so is there any more questions? Does anyone want to type any more questions that's come through online? I don't think there's anything else. Is there anything else there? Um, just a quick one. Um, someone's asked if you can please go over the council fees and council tax fees again as they missed them. Yeah, sure. In fact, what I'll have, I've got a, uh, literally all the fees and buying process, etc. What I'll do is I'll send it to everybody by email so that you've got it at hand and you've got it there in writing so you can refer to it at a later date. So um, that would probably be easier than, uh, than saying it on, on, or we will also send the recording out as well. So on the recording, you can always refer back to the recording and get the details. I just wanted to say the beach where we're going at the moment, and so one of the questions that was posed before the webinar started was, is it a dog-friendly beach? And the answer is no. You can walk dogs on this beach during the winter months, but not during the summer months. And that's obviously due to the human traffic and uh, cleanliness. So there are two local beaches which are around about one to one and a half kilometers away from this beach where we are now. And those beaches are dog friendly and you can take uh, dogs out all, 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 year, all year round, no problem at all. So hopefully that answers that question for you. We also had another question regarding Brexit. Um, and again, sorry to be so vague with Brexit, but nobody really knows what's going to happen post Brexit and what agreements will be, will be struck up. Um, I do know that post Brexit that it's not going to improve 
impeach people from being here. It's not going to it's not going to hinder people from being here. If you want to live here, you can apply for residency. Um, that you would have to start the process now. That's going to be a lot easier than starting the process after well in 2021. And also, one of the things that I will say is you're more than likely going to have to go for a tourist visa and you'll be, you'll be limited in terms of how long you can stay here. It will probably be 90 days. But again, this isn't sealed in stone. This is just my thoughts. It's, this isn't something that I can say is gospel. Now, before that time, you have got the option to go for the golden visa. And if anybody is not sort of aware of how the golden visa works, we do have a video on our YouTube channel. So if you want to go onto YouTube and enter Ideal Homes International, you'll be able to see the video with the amount, uh, which are the lawyers that we would recommend. And they will go through in quite some detail exactly how you acquire the golden visa and what it means for you. So again, post Brexit, will it stop you from buying a property here? Absolutely not, no. You can buy a property here, people from outside of the European Union are continuing to do so and have been doing for many years. Will it stop you from living here full time? I would say no, but it may mean that you would have to do certain things and have certain paperwork in place before being able to do that, or at least being able to spend more than 90 days here. So again, mortgages, we've had a question regarding mortgages. Is it 60 or 70%? I would say that the majority of the banks, all bar two, will offer a 60% mortgage. You will see on some adverts 70% because that does it, they do exist, but the majority of the banks won't offer that to you. You have to have a fantastic income and expenditure record. You would have to have a considerable lump sum and a considerable payment in the bank. And also the time is quite short. So the repayments tend to be quite high. So they don't tend to suit most people. So I would say whilst doing your maths, uh, always budget for about a 60% mortgage. I believe Anna is back, so we'll sign back over to Anna, who's going to introduce the uh, local beach to us. It looks absolutely great. I wish I was there. I'll hand it over to you, Anna. Hi, Anna. You, I'm not seeing the sound. There we go. She just needs to unmute herself. Let me unmute. There you go. Go for it. A ver si te voy a okay. Sí. It's okay now. Te oyen? No. No, te, te tienen que oír. Te oyen. Sí, te oyen. Sí. Te... Sí, te oyen. Sí. Hello. Well, we are now at the beach of La Mata, okay? So this is um, the best beach of Torrevieja. It's five kilometers, as you can appreciate it, of white sand beach. The sea is blue coral, very, very clean. Perfect for, just for promenade, doing a sport, some bathing, and swimming. It's a beautiful beach, just 300 meters where we have, uh, were before, with this beautiful promenade. If you go around, you see there, when you go to down, you go to down and you go to Torre Vieja, but here you are in La Mata, and if you continue, you arrive to Guardamar, and then just straight on, you can see, there is Ranacan, this is Elche, with this mountain that you can see in the back, I don't know if you can appreciate it or not, but this is the um, airport of Alic uh, the Alicante airport, and it's just uh, 35 kilometers far from here. I went to this beach. This beach is very popular, as you can appreciate it, by the quality of the sand and the quality of the sea. And then you will have all bars and restaurants all around. Here we are going to have a look of all the terrace, where you have a beautiful for having lunch, uh, coming here to have a drink, having dinner. You have different kinds of uh, food, like Italian food, to grab a sandwich, um, Mexican and Japanese one. Now, well, uh, unfortunately, due to the uh, COVID, uh, we don't have the typical Spanish bar at the beach that we call Chiringuito. But here, you can, you can appreciate it that normally they are based in the, in the sand. Two big ones that is beautiful to come at the sunset and to drink mojitos, uh, caipirinhas, uh, some beers, gin tonic. It's a very nice space to um, enjoy with your families and friends. Thank 
thinking that there, in this side, in this corner, you will have also two very famous restaurants here to have fresh fish. That is one of them is called in Barlovento. That is probably one of the best restaurants in all Costa Blanca. So, relation, very good quality of food, very um, um, tasty, and good prices. Also, very typical for paella. And then here we just arrived to the terrace, and I mentioned before, as you are going to appreciate it, even the situation here in Spain, we almost one like in the UK. You want to appreciate lifestyle, enjoy the sun, enjoy the sea, and uh, enjoy a good meal at a terrace. The people is are doing here. Then all the terrace are at 50% of their capacity, as they can be before now, due to the situation. But people are enjoying a good meal and a good time here at the beach. Then I invite you to all of you to come here to look look of this beautiful beach, enjoy a nice meal, and go to visit these beautiful apartments in Torremar that, of course, I as always say, is a very good opportunity and a great investment due to the location, the relation quality price, and all the environment here. Thank you very much. Okay. Have some questions? Hey, Ben. Hey, Ben. Can you hear me now? me just unmute so can you hear me now should be okay now yeah, okay brilliant so the property like we discussed on saturday uh we mentioned that it, the, the location is very much a resale location as you can see it's an established area but the great thing is is you're going for a new build property but within a resale location would i be right in assuming that this would be great for somebody who wants to spend a large proportion of the time here and also use it for a for a rental income to actually have it as part of a rental portfolio. Yes, that's good. For, for as I told before, this is the rentals here, us in this building, as we are the developers and the, the sales manager here. Half of the apartment we sell, we rent it as one. Well. And it's very useful to, it's very easy to rent it, sorry, because you have for the tourist season, but I explained it before, even if you are a um, paradise that you are here there is people that they live all year there is not just people that they come here just for summer but you can find people that they have the families that they go to a school or they work in Torre Vieja or they work here in the, in the big uh, tenia shopping center then they live here doing all year then they have people that they use it for living here all year but no the one that they use it for holidays they rent it and they rent it in a very good price here for long term you can rent it in 600 euros per month. And in short term, with a high season, you can rent it by 550 euros per week. And you wouldn't need a car to actually access all the amenities locally. You would, you know, you can get no to everywhere by foot. It's not a problem at all. For the amenities, you have the amenities just in front. As you can see, it's just 100 meters uh, in the back of the farmers. You will have the bus stop every 20 minutes for going to the city center of Torre Vieja. And if you want to go around from the beach, it's just eight minutes walk and it's six, six meter, 600 meters. Then you don't need a car that long. If you want a car, at least you have the parking space by free. Yeah, of course. And we saw that the properties uh, were, un were furnished. Now, will they be sold furnished or will they be sold no, unfurnished? They are not sold furnished, but we have some uh, furniture pack that they are, well, is there the same furniture pack that you have seen at the um, show house? And because of this furniture pack, that we put it all when you come inside your apartment, it's ready to leave, and you will find it for 7,200 VIT included. Great, and you have the furniture and the white goods all included on the price. And will that be delivered and installed? Yeah, brilliant. And also, for anybody thinking about, you know, did you really drive how, how many minutes did you really drive from the, from the apartment down? Let's say, what five or six minutes? It wasn't, it wasn't all at all, was it? 
Sorry, sorry, excuse me? You, you, you drove from the apartment down to the beach in, in roughly about five or six minutes. It wasn't long at all. Well, so, no, before, it's because we have Pine Johnson calling and we have spent two minutes walking, two minutes talking, but driving from the apartments to the beach is three minutes. Great, great. Just 300 meters. Um, Obviously, the local airport being Alicante Airport, but you can also fly into Murcia Airport. Uh, how long yeah. do you reckon it would take to, to drive from Murcia Airport down, up to... Uh, to, well, to Alicante Airport is 25, 30, let's say 30 minutes maximum. Yeah, but you can also do it from Murcia Airport as and well. And you can yeah? do it from Murcia, and from Murcia it will be 45 minutes. Great, great. No, I think that answers all the questions. And from the airport of Alicante, you can go by the national road, that is all the coast road, the 332, and it's 35 kilometers, but you can find some traffic, then it could be like 30 minutes. And you can go as well through the motorway, the high-speed motorway, that is free as well, and you will spend like 30 minutes as well. It's 45 kilometers, but it's motorway. Great. Then you have both roads to go to the airport of Alicante and to Alicante City Center. Great. And can you just recap on the, because I know obviously payment structure we discussed, like we discussed previously, has slightly changed because of the current circumstance. So can you just quickly go over the payment structure and also how the deposits are split? Yeah, the good thing of this apartment is they are key ready. Then here we do a deposit of 6,000 euros. And then is 10% um, with the signature of the contract. That should be like 15 days later. And... But it depends, for example, if you say, okay, Anna, me, I have the, because here for us, some, sometimes we have sell one apartment on Monday and we have completed them at the notary on Friday. It's very, very fast because all the papers are ready. We have the keys and the apartments are ready. And then it's easy. But for example, some people spend like one month, one month and a half to complete it because while well, they have to change it or bring things or they want to include the furnitures or they want to make some change. Then imagine that, you pay the deposit now and you are going to, you want to have the apartment in one month and a half. You, uh, it will be uh, 6,000 euros now, 10% 15 days later, then the rest at completion, one month later. Brilliant. If you say, Brilliant. no, I want to complete it in two months, okay? Stay down one month and a half, you will do 6,000 euros now, 10% 15 days, one month later, these 15 days, another 10% rest at completion, 15 days later. Great. That is the payment structure. So you're quite oh, flexible. You can be flexible. But yeah. the good thing here is not that the, same, the one new bill that is not finished, this one is finished and it's still ready. Then we are very, very fast here. If you can, you can complete it in three, four days, we will be able to do it as well. Great. Great. Thank you very much. I think that answers all you. of our questions. It's a big pleasure and, to meet uh, you again. Thank you. We'll see you when we do our next virtual tour, which is going to be in Condado, up in, in Murcia. So uh, yeah. we'll, see you, we'll see you soon. I see hope to have a nice day like this one. That will be oh, great. Let's hope. Let's <laughs> hope. <laughs> Take care. Take care. Enjoy your day. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. So hopefully that answers at least all your questions regarding the payment process. As I said, I'll send the community fees out and, and the payment structure again in writing. So you've got it there and you can refer to it at a later date. And that gives you an idea in terms of the build quality and the location and how far it is from the local town, how far it is from the, from the beach, etc. cetera. Um, but what I will say as well is that there were no lights on in the property. The property didn't have any electric connected for obvious reasons. So what you saw was just being lit by the orientation and obviously how bright it is and how sunny it is today. So the property is, is, is great. So it's a, it's a, it is a very, very good investment opportunity for somebody wanting to have a rental income and to use the property themselves and get the best of both worlds. So if you do require any further information on the property, please feel free to contact us. We'll be able to give you more information regarding the maybe floor plans or whatever it may be. Just please be, a little bit uh, patient with me because my laptop and the only source of uh, <laughs> communication I have at the moment regarding emails is down, but um, that should hopefully be resolved in a few days once shops open back up. But uh, yes, if we can offer you any more information, please let us know. And if it's not this property and you still are interested in finding a property, again, let us know or maybe we can try and uh, source a property that fits your criteria. So unless there's any questions, I think we can pretty much wrap things up, but I'll I'll leave you guys to just drop any questions into the chat box if there, if there are any questions. No? 
no, it seems like there's no more questions. So again, you can contact us via email and phone. Please feel free to, to call us if you have any further questions. We'll take it from there. So until next week, I'd like to say goodbye. <laughs>